Getting a business up and running is easier when you have a little money to work with. But where can you go to get the funds you need to get your startup off the ground when small business loans can be hard to come by as a startup? Our recommendation? Startup business loans. Startup loans are loans from traditional lenders, specifically for the purpose of starting a business. In this video, we will tell you how to get a business loan. Before starting the video, please subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon so you can get notified when we upload the next video. Number 13. Review the startup costs you need to cover. Here are some common costs that come with starting a business. Equipment purchases like cash registers, machinery and vehicles. Technology purchases like computers, tablets and printers. Initial inventory purchases, permits and licenses like city, county and state licensing. Initial office supplies, business furniture. After you pay these initial costs, you'll have ongoing expenses like taxes, rent or mortgage payments, employee payroll, etc that you'll need to cover as you grow your startup. Once you have a solid understanding of how much funding you need, you're ready to pursue your startup funding options. Number 12. Decide what type of loan you need to fund your business. Lenders will ask why you need to get a small business loan. Your answer will likely fall into that of three categories and determine which type of business loan is right for you. You want to start a business. Lenders require cash flow to support repayment of the loan, so companies in their first year typically can't get business loans. Instead, you'll have to rely on other types of startup financing, like business credit cards and personal loans. You want to manage day-to-day -day expenses. A business line of credit could make sense. This flexible kind of funding lets you tap into financing as needed to cover expenses like payroll or unexpected costs like repairs, offering a useful safety net as needed. You want to grow your business? Consider a government-backed SBA loan or traditional term loan, which often have higher borrowing maximums. SBA loans can reach $5.5 million, for example. Many lenders also offer specific products to fit a growing company's needs, such as loans for equipment or vehicle purchases. Number 11. Get your documents and registrations ready. Traditional lenders may be hesitant to finance a young company with no business history and no proven revenue, but startup businesses have a better shot at securing financing when the founders do some preparation before starting their search for the perfect startup loan. Register your startup with your local government agency before they fund your startup. Lenders will want to see that you've taken the steps to make your business official. This means that you've officially filed your business with the necessary parties and have all the required licenses and permits needed to operate your business. Your list of business loan requirements will vary from lender to lender, but there are documents that almost every lender will require. Bank statements, income statements, personal tax returns, resume, financial projections, and so on. Number 10. Prepare a business plan. Your business plan should include your financial projections, future sales, profits, income, cash flow, and so on and more qualitative goals for your business. How will you make a unique and important contribution to the market you're in? Where and how quickly will your business grow? If you haven't made one yet, here is a business plan template you can use to put one together. In order to secure a loan, many banks need you to have a strong financial plan, which brings out what your business entails. It forms an introduction about who you are and what your business is all about. A business plan should be able to state the business's goals, mission, and how it will be run in order to achieve all the objectives stated. Remember, a great business plan means that the business is likely to succeed according to the mind of the lender. Number 9. State how you want to spend your finances. Banks have a tendency to assess how the loan applicant wants to spend the funds borrowed. If you want to purchase equipment, for example, you need to apply for an equipment loan. On the other hand, if you want funds to keep the business running before your debtors pay you, it would be advisable to apply for a short-term loan. Thus, stating what your loan will be used for makes it easy for the bank to determine whether the amount applied for will meet all your needs. Number 8. State the amount of money you need. When applying for a loan, it is good to do a thorough research in order for you not to underestimate or overestimate the amount of money you require. This is due to the fact that underestimating could lead to financial problems in the future. Overestimating, on the other hand, makes the bank question whether a thorough research was done before writing the business plan. To avoid all these doubts, have a good budget with proper financial projections. 
Number seven, be keen on your credit score. Nowadays, all banks have to verify whether every applicant is eligible to be given a loan. When applying for financial help, it is advisable to check your personal credit reports and scores. A credit score of 700 and above is excellent. If your score is below 680, it would be hard for you to get a loan, but you may want to consider a revenue-based loan as an alternative. If your score is low, work hard and raise it before applying for any bank loan. Number six, clean up your credit report. Sometimes there could be errors in your credit report, and if you are not careful, it might negatively affect your credit score. This is why it is always advisable to monitor your business credit and personal credit files regularly. In case you notice some errors, contact a credit reporting agency immediately to rectify and raise the score by removing the discrepancies. Otherwise, no loan will be approved by a bank when your credit rating is low. Number five, assess all your lending options. After checking your credit report and ensuring that it is okay, it is time to research and come up with a list of banks that are viable to extend the type of loan you are in need of. Choose the bank that offers loans at low interest rates and offers the most flexible approval guidelines. Number four, keep proper financial records. Getting a business loan from a bank becomes easier when you have proper financial statements. Banks will always want to check your balance sheet, cash flow statements, and income statements so as to ascertain whether you have the ability to repay the loan or not. This means that if you have not been keeping these records, it is time to start since they could be of help in the future when applying for a loan. Number three, research available lenders. There are more lenders than ever willing to lend to small businesses, and many of the lenders can be found from a simple online search. Here are the main types of lenders. Direct online lenders. There are a number of online lenders that make small business loans through a relatively easy online process. Reputable companies such as PayPal can provide very fast small business cash advances, working capital loans and short-term loans in the amounts from $5,000 to $500,000. Sites such as Fundera offer access to multiple lenders, acting as a lead generation service for lenders. Large commercial banks. The traditional lenders to the small business market are banks such as Wells Fargo, JP Morgan, and Citibank. The loan approval process tends to be slower due to more rigorous loan underwriting criteria. Local community banks. Many community banks have a strong desire to make small business loans to local businesses, peer-to-peer -peer lending sites. There are a number of sites that act as middlemen between individual and institutional lenders and small borrowers, including SMBX, Lending Club, and Funding Cycle. These lenders can make decisions relatively quickly. Bank lenders backed by SBA guarantees. A number of bank lenders issue loans backed by the SBA. And as noted above, this backing allows lenders to offer more attractive terms. Number two, determine your chance of getting approved. While some lenders will pre-qualify you based on basic information, the actual loan application process will likely require a hard inquiry on your credit report. Filter your initial loan applications to those lenders where you are most likely to find success. If you have personal credit scores of less than 680 to 700, you probably won't have success at a bank. An online bank with a higher interest rate may be more likely to say yes and could be a good decision based upon what you are borrowing for. Try to understand your odds before you take the time and effort to apply. Some lenders can tell you your chances within a few brief questions. You'll get a yes or no within minutes, and then we'll have to provide additional information to find out how much you'll get and what you'll pay in interest and fees. Other lenders won't give you any indication of your approval until you're months into the process and sign those final papers. Number one, fill out the application. The rules for applying are pretty much the same whether you're sitting in an office somewhere with pen and paper or typing on your computer from home. Filling out the application may take time, but thanks to the documentation you gathered in Step 5, it won't be nearly as laborious as it might have been. Once you've done it, expect to wait between 24 hours and 6 months depending on the loan type you chose. Do let us know in the comments for what business you need a loan for. Thanks for watching.